Hello and welcome. Neil Ice here from Tax TV. Uh, hope you're doing well. Not the result and, dare I say, not the performance. By some at players as well. Uh, defeat at Plymouth Argyle. So we're going to go through some at player analysis, some at player ratings about what I've done, put, uh, put together. Let me know your thoughts as well. Also, I've got uh, Luke as well. Um, he sent me a short video clip on, on WhatsApp. So... Please watch this, uh, see what he, you know, take on it, and uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts on this. Yeah, a bit of a reality check, I think, and, you know, a few home truths said, and, uh, uh, you know, a long journey for uh, fans, you know, round trip, early start at morning and coming back late in, you know, night. So, yeah. Performance, I dare say, lacking on certain players. I think it's uh, tech stock, and you know, it's highlighted what we as fans think what what we do need. Um, and again, if people want to do all like that, uh, send me a short video so I can put onto uh, YouTube for you or more away. Uh, just send it me via WhatsApp. If you want to contact me, tikes tv one four one nine at gmail dot com. I'll give you my mobile uh, number. There is a, a WhatsApp group on Tykes TV. Uh, it's on Facebook and all social media stuff. But if you're struggling to find links, uh, send me an email. Uh, I'm more than happy to, you know, send you a link for that. And, you know, videos at home and away, uh, your thoughts. I'll just, you know, short clip, two, three, four minute clip. I can uh, bob it on and get a compilation together and let me know everybody's thoughts because it's all about opinions at the end of the day. So, yeah, we're going to be getting to the uh, player ratings, Barnsley player ratings at, uh, against Plymouth Argyle. So, first on, we're going to go to Brad Collins. And these are my thoughts, you know, uh, my ratings are, are there. Collins, 6.5. If He didn't pull up any trees, but I think he had to do what he had to do. Uh, we seem to be getting breached a lot of the time at back. Um, I'm going to get on to defence in a minute. But yeah, six point five. Again, it was did what he had to do, kind of thing. Williams, great seeing back after injury and playing in the role vacated by Britain, as we all know, down that right wing back role. Tried getting forward when he could. Um, again, his effort was via. I think frustration in the second half were coming more prevalent to him. We were trying to bomb on forward, but. Is we're trying to do that, we were not in front of such for you know where option of creating stuff again, which is going to like lead up to this. So, I'm going to give him a 6.5 as well. Mads Anderson, uh, looks like he's club captain now. 6.5 again, that's the system we're going to be playing. We're going to be playing three at back and you know the two win backs kind of thing. He did what he had to do, you know, we're trying pushing up and offside trapping back and we're getting caught a few times. Again, it's a learning curve and I think there's a few things to be taken out of this game is in regards not just the uh, player abilities, but I think the performance as well on certain players. Kundi, he got to go for half-time. Uh, I gave him a six. I know he got found wanting a few times, but when he got found wanting it, what a one-on-one -on -one situation, he'd get back and put elastic tackling. So for me, giving him a six, uh, could have been a five point five. It were on borderline, but I think he now six. First storm start, uh, first start for Barnsley uh, in competitive league. Like I'm going to come on to a few other players coming forward, but for me, I don't feel we're not worst uh, at players on pitch. But again, it's going to be a learning curve. It's the understanding of the players coming together. So for me, I'm going to give him a six. I know he got to go for half time, but what I've what I've seen in Veer is he's wanting to track back. He's wanting to you know throw his body on line kind of thing. Whereas I think if it had been happened last season under certain players, they'd have lost ball and get up ghost. And we've said this before: we had hands on our hips and didn't bother tracking back. He knew, realized the mistake and he, he, he chased down. For me, six again. Your guys might agree, disagree. All about opinions and comments. Leave them below after uh, video. Kitchen, I'm getting I'm kitchen a five. Um, if I'm wanting, is 
balls, your distribution, lacking. Again, you get Ken called out of position, some at ball, simple basic pass, passes at ball, going wayward. Um, and I, I'm surprised that he didn't get took off rather than Kundi, if I'm being honest. But again, about opinions, you might agree, you disagree on this one, but I thought Kitchen were not at the races today for whatever reason. They were playing in the centre-back role, so it wants if we're playing out left wing back, I don't like that. Um, but again, I'm Kitchen for me, five. Nicky Cadden, uh, 7.5, first league start for Barnsley. I think he had a solid game. You could see that attacking prowess what he's got, you know, trying to get crosses in for Aitchison, uh, trying to make things work, up and down uh, line. For me, great work. I think he can improve heaps and bounds. Just uh, going tracking back, not all the time, but on a few occasions, we've been that far advanced forward, and I think that's why the kitchen kit came ragged out, uh, central defence to try and cover that spot. But for me, I think you want at bright sparks on pitch, uh, Nicky Cadden, and I can see that attacking ability, I can see that pace, that link up play where he's wanted to go down left hand side at wing. Um, so for me, 7.5, Nicky Cadden. Benson, frustrated with Benson. Um, why just didn't should we Martin and on touchline for and concede a throwing off free kick when they scored on stroke at half time? I don't know. Had it were allowed to, you know, it, it were from a silly free kick, it was sprayed out wide, and it was just running down on, on tram lines kind of thing. Ben Sovier just shadowing, shadowing, I'm thinking to see if I put a foot through it, push him out, I take a throw in, waste a bit of time there, but we didn't, we allowed him to come in, cut across, get in, and they scored. Yeah, with it post, with it crossbar, with it crossbar as well. But again, for me, if we'd have kept it at nil nil, we could have come away from Plymouth with a point. Um, and I don't think that would have been a bad result considering our Plymouth for coming coming on us. So Benson, yeah, I was I was, I was disappointed with Benson. I thought he could have just done a bit similar to like last season, where get stuck into tackle, uh, break up the play. Benson and Palmer were at fault last season for a few of that. So against learning from their mistakes, and we're in, we're in league now. We, you know, this is it's not a given. We need to put a put a foot in, get a blocking, get a tackling, whatever. Kunde did it first day when he lost it. He made up his ground. This one could have been avoided. Just get it out. Just get it out for a throw or something. Five point five for Benson. Luke O'Connell. Um, 6.5, I've, I've, he was round about 6, but I'm getting 6.5. We're trying, we're trying to drop back uh, for link-up play. We're trying to get things moving, um, finding it hard because uh, obviously we get onto a midfield situation in a minute. But when you've got, you can't be like carrying all your sin, you need that link-up play. They were trying with Nicky uh, Cadden, they were trying in midfield, they were trying to get the momentum going when he's dropping back and he's going forward. He's like more than box-to-box. I saw him sat in, sitting back a lot, just to try and get the ball and take it on. So for me, I thought it were a, a decent um, debut for Luca. I think good things can come in. I think I think he'll be a first team regular. Uh, just that bit of help or that bit of help, that bit of nous in midfield to help lad out and help him develop. So for me, six point five. I don't think he had a, a too bad a debut. Callum Styles again for me. Wanted races sometimes. I didn't. I didn't think, 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 even think he were on pitch. To be fair, a shadow player. Um, is he a midfielder for me? I think he's at Barnsley best I've seen him play like left wing back role at Barnsley. From being honest, is he that kind of player to link up for forward for that creative stuff? I haven't seen it as such. I haven't seen it as yet. Um, again. A move elsewhere might be on cards. I don't know. I'm just speculating here. But for me, 5.5. Uh, and that's where I try and get where Luke Connell 6.5. is trying to link up. You've got Benson and you've got Styles. You've got a lad who's making a debut. Who's, you can see that work ethic there. Benson was struggling. 
Uh, and for me, Styles were uh, another another poor performance by Styles. I'm afraid. Devante Cole. I know there's been stuff said about him on social media. He's only playing football because he's died and he's not over. But again, it's in our situation because we we all know where the problem lies. It's his attacking attacking options. We know that. For me, somebody who's running at times we're running more or less at side of Jack Aitchison. It more like you're not creating space, you're not creating movement for for the creative side in it. Um so for me, Devante Cole, it's going to be. I think it's going to be a struggle for him. I would, obviously, with Norwood, we're going to come on to substitutes in a minute. But Norwood, when he came on, you could see a bit of difference. But again, it's how far off his match fit is Norwood, and we can't be expecting Norwood to be playing week in week out. We need these younger players to be stepping up to the plate and actually, you know, staking a claim. Um, Jack Aitchison, it took him two years. <laughs> He's been out on loan. Um, I think it was Stevenage and Forest Green, wasn't it? And he's finally, you know, came on, come on for for Barnsley. Again, I'm giving him a six. Um, he was trying, he was unlucky. Um, I think it was uh, Cadden, what, it crossed by, if I'm, if, if I'm not being uh, too funny. Uh, what it, yeah, Nicky, uh, I think it was a crossing from Nicky Cadden. It, uh, H's in it, crossed by, and I think Benson... Uh, follow up shot got blocked from from reading it right back. So yeah, Jack Aitchinson, um I give him a six again. He were trying, he were running, but again, when you've got no goals or you've got no creativeness to you know score goals, and I'm going to get onto that in a minute after player ratings, and then we'll get onto substitute. So yeah, McCarthy um, came on for Kundi again. I'll give him a six. Thomas Wolf, I think it's two. I can't really give him a five or a six. Um, and then Aidan Marsh and Norwood. Norwood came on and made that difference. Marsh were running down. Two unused substitutes were Walton and Moon. But it was great to see that he's utilising the substitute Spence. You know, you've got Matty Wolf, who last season was starting. You've got Norwood on bench, Luke Thomas. Um so yeah, there's options via first team options. People have been saying, "Oh, I'd start the, the the team that finished the game. I'd start them for the Cheltenham game." Bearing in mind what result Cheltenham had. Uh, so yeah, I think there's going to be a few. What can I say? There's going to be a few learning points on this game. Uh, for me, Nicky Nicky Cadden's got man at match seven point five. Let me know what your guys think. You might agree, disagree. You might think that everybody were average. It's all about opinions, isn't it? But I think one thing that we do want is attack attacking options. You know, attack. But don't a lot of teams. Alpha. I know people said Alpha may scored again. But when you look at it as well, you've also got to be creating chances for the attackers to score. And when you strip it back and you look back. The defensive unit, it do not look, look too bad. It looks, it, it needs tweaking. I think we can say that. Midfield, it needs someone in there to grab an old game and shake it up and put a tackle in. Hence the touchline when it could have been avoided on stroke at half time. And if you're not creating out for attackers to score, albeit one or two, you know, attempts probably one on goal or something like that, two on goal, you're not creating stuff. And Styles, who, you know, if he's that supposed to be creative player and linking it up, it didn't work. Benson, it didn't work. Luke Connell's dropping beat, uh, deep to pick up ball to try and create and get momentum going. So again, as, as much as we need strikers, we also need that attacking, that creativeness for it to happen. So there's, when you strip it back, yeah, there's going to be a lot of things to work on in that final third. It can be a solid and out. We lost one and out. It could have been a nil-nil. So that's where I'm getting it, is that there's a lot of things to be worked on, not just think, oh, we need an attacker. Probably need a, a right wing back. No disrespect to Jordan Williams, but if Jordan Williams gets picked up, we've got Will Undermark. Is he his answer? I don't know. But we've got to be creating chances and not, be, yeah. So there's a lot of things 
a lot of unknowns and uncertainties. So that's my player ratings for the uh, game against Plymouth Argyle. Like I said, it's all about opinions and comments. Leave them below. Please like, subscribe and share. It means a lot. I do appreciate it. Um, I will be doing this and tweaking it and getting it better, getting it more um, fluid and stuff like that with the player ratings on, on the slides and stuff. Uh, try and add some uh, pointers in and stuff. So there's a lot of things going to be working on that. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Who's your man at match? And what do we, Barnsley, need for the season ahead? One thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>